Well, it was very exciting, and, and some of my instructors from Chouinard Art Institute were were uh, there, and and uh, also in the show, and and some friends that were students, and and uh, and my parents, who were really pleased to be part of it all, and because they're the ones who paid for my tuition at school. I had gone to that art school with the intention originally of getting into animation. Chouinard was a training ground for Disney's people and didn't have much interest in anything in high school except for cartooning and, and so I thought that's, I'd give it a try. And after being there for a very short time I changed my uh, interest to painting because the charisma of the painters was much more charming than uh, than the more technical people. It's the kind of feeling that you get when you haven't been to some place in 55 years and, and, and you remember it as being much larger than it seemed to look when you came back. Uh, uh, Excuse me, it, it seems much smaller than what I had my memories of it were. And, uh, it's great. It's a great feeling to be here. And it's, I don't even mind looking at that old piece of mine. I, I, it, 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 it was part of the, part of my history and it was painted in, when I was a student in Robert Irwin's watercolor class. He profoundly influenced my life, and this was one of those moments. Oh, there's an English artist named Peter Blake who designed the cover and made some of the selections. He had seen a show uh, that I had done at uh, Robert Fraser Gallery in London, and and. Uh, liked my work and just decided to put me in. Uh, uh, he was also a friend of Dennis Hopper who had taken the original picture and, uh, uh, and it, it's as simple as that. I got a letter from the publisher asking permission and I said yes. Probably the biggest thing I ever did was be part of that. They still sell that album. And, were you a fan of the Beatles? Yeah, sure. Especially after they asked me to be on their cover. <laughs> <laughs>